Hey guys, one of the most common questions we're asked here is how to properly secure your striker boat to a trailer. So the first thing you want to do is ideally you have a trailer from us. Our trailers are designed specifically for our inflatable boats. Now, if you don't have one of our trailers, follow these tips and tricks that we're going to walk through and you'll be just fine. So one of the things people often do, a common mistake that they do is they connect their, their line their bow line and they connect to, to this little part here. Now this part is designed to be used with the launching wheels. It is not designed for winching. I repeat, it is not designed for winching your boat up onto the trailer. The best way to get your boat to the right position on any trailer is to back your trailer into the water so one third, one third of your entire bunk is out of the water and then you get down with your boat you grab your lifeline, and now when this is in the water, it's very easy to do, and you pull it into position by hand. So I'm gonna get Austin, Austin, you wanna come grab the front here? So just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna pull it on by hand. So we, one, two, three. So we pull it onto the trailer, and what we want, what we're looking for here is we're looking for our bow bunk to be situated right underneath of our lip that is our water redirecting rub streak. So what that is essentially doing is that is not allowing our bow to bounce. Now, keeping your bow solid is ideal in an inflatable boat because it's not gonna allow any of the D-rings to pull out or shock load your system. So what I like to do with my bow line now is I either go to my rope right in the center or if your boat is one of our boats that has a D-ring, is you go to the D-ring, facing back, and you use your front winch, and you just put pressure on it. You don't winch that down. You put it till we just have pressure. Now, what you'll see is that can't be shock loaded because we have the bow position properly, and we have the winch position properly. And that's gonna give you a very good starting point. So what we're gonna do to actually physically tie the boat to the trailer is we're gonna use ratchet straps. Now, there's a few different ways to do this. Now, the best way is to have a long enough ratchet strap that goes completely around the boat and the frame. That is the number one way to do it. Now, our straps that we have here today, are they're a little bit shorter and we're gonna do a method that we employ often and that's just to go up to the D-rings. Now, because we're using a striker trailer with a striker boat and it's set up properly, these D-rings cannot be shock loaded. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pass that under. Now with using these ratchet straps, ratchet strap, you always go through the knee. So if you go through the knee, We're just gonna set that in there. I'm gonna hook up the other side. Okay, so I'm going to my interior D-ring. And I'm going to go to my other D-ring. Now here what I would typically do is I'd put a little piece of foam or a little piece of cardboard or a piece of carpet behind you for demonstration purposes. We're just going to tighten that down. Um, so, and that's essentially what we want the front to look like. We've got around the frame, We've gone to the D-rings. We are not able to shock load that system at all. We aren't stretching any of these D-rings out. This is perfect. This is what I like. So on the back of our striker boats, we have two welded lifting eyes that we can also use to tie down the transom. So you can choose to use two points or you can do a single point. Today we're gonna use a single point. The amount of weight that we're tying back here is, is very low so we can get away with just using the one strap. So what I like to do is I wrap the frame and I go back up to the one eye. 
and I run the strap. A few considerations when towing your inflatable, you need to make sure if you have an outboard installed on your transom that your transom itself is sitting on the actual bunks. It can't be six inches or a foot past your bunk. It must be on the bunk and just on the edge is fine. But in order to support the weight of that outboard bouncing on gravel roads or what have you, it needs to be fully supported. The other thing you need to ensure is that your outboard is in the down and locked position and that it is not too close to the ground. If, if it is under six inches between your, your um, outboard and the ground, you need to have your transom or your outboard in the up position. And in that case, you're gonna need a, what's called a transom saver, um, which are available online as well.